uh, Sherm Goldenberg here, uh, RV Business with, with Bob Martin, President and CEO of Thor Industries, Inc. Um, along the river behind their headquarters in Elkhart, Indiana, a place that a lot of us haven't been able to go to, that would be the best way to put it, for so long. I don't mean because of Thor, but just because of the general ambiance of the world in the last 16 months. And uh, it's great to be here, uh, great to make eye contact with people. And I, I think I start out our Capital Talk interview by asking Bob, what's the world look like right now? That's kind of the, the hook of our, of our interview. What's it look like to, uh, from your seat? You know, from the RV industry, it looks uh, amazing. I mean, right now, our, our dealers, you know, have a lot of customers coming in. Uh, you know, our, our production is at full capacity. Uh, you know, our order backlog is very strong. Uh, so from the RV world, uh, things are bright. We've got new customers that are coming to the industry. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, you know, they've become interested in this RV way to travel for convenience, for safety, for ways of bonding with their family. It just has been gaining in popularity. And still, uh, six months ago, we were, we were reading those headlines. It's still going is what you're saying. Yeah, and as I've talked to many dealers, it's, it's, it's gone beyond like pandemic buyers. It's, it's truly a, a different demographic, a younger, more diverse demographic coming through their doors that are looking for a different way to travel. And you've got you know, more people working from home. You've got more people with flexibility in their life that it may be more flex time and they can work from an RV. And you know, most of the RVs we build, they have 4G uh, technology. Uh, so you can be you know, sitting in a campground or you know, you're, you know, someone else could be driving the motor home and you could be on your computer on Wi-Fi working. And these are things that the products that our, our companies have all developed over the last few years um, you know, with the 4G technology, but then also just you know, the touch pads when you walk in that operate lights, slide rooms, um, you know, the air conditioner, and a lot of them go to an app on the phone. So I think they're just, the products we've developed over the last several years are hitting a good time for these new buyers. And so it's a lot of the preparation. The entire industry is done with technology and, and comforts of the RVs are, are really resonating. Um this extraordinary uh, surge is a word that so many of us use. Um, you see it continuing. Um, I, I know you don't have a crystal ball, but for as far as you can see. For me, the, most of my information comes from dealers. And as I talk to dealers, uh, you know, even with incredibly low inventories, uh, their, their internet hits are up. Uh, the, the interest they have coming from customers, uh, you know, calling, coming in the door, even with little inventory, is still very, very high. And so for us, as we talk to them, even with less inventory, um, their sales are, are up even, uh, even with that situation. So we don't see signs of anything stopping anytime soon. And we've been talking in general, uh, if we look specifically at Thor, uh, and we can go back a, a month or so at your financials, and I won't go in the weeds on those, extraordinary numbers, record uh, numbers for Thor, right? Yeah, last quarter we reported definitely record quarter for the company, and it is. I mean, when, when you look at, um, you know, dealer inventories being very low, backlogs for manufacturers being very high, um, I think everybody's at record levels for their backlogs. And so for us, we're, we're finding ways to, you know, optimize production uh, every day, just trying to find ways to get our dealers inventory. And it's, it's, it's been a, as I talk to dealers, it's a good problem because they're, they're getting it, but they're turning it so quickly. And years ago in the industry, when there's ever a, a problem in the industry, it's usually aged inventory is what hurts, you know, a, a dealer. And right now, we just don't have that. Uh, used inventory is at record lows. So when customers come in, they're getting high trade-in values, which is, again, good for the long-term of the industry. 
Um, and we're already seeing some of those pandemic buyers come in and trade into a bigger unit. Maybe they bought the unit that they could find and they're coming back and ordering the one that they want. So just common themes I'm hearing from dealers, which just tell me this, this has a lot of runway. Uh, many of us uh, reading the financial pages uh, a month ago will forever remember your backlog number. It was uh, stunning would be an understatement. Um, it looked like a year and a half work. Uh, not a year and a half, but uh, <laughs> close to close to a year. Uh, you know, for us, it's uh, it, it's you know the the backlogs are one indicator that we use. Uh, to me, the bigger ones, dealer inventories. The fact that uh, you know I'm talking to dealers all the time that are at record low inventories, and much of the inventory they do have, they're holding just so that they can show customers so they can sell off of it to, to do an order. Um, so it's the combination of the two, um, you know, and, and, and for the dealers, it's been, you know, they've been very understanding because there have been ups and downs of the industry this year. Um, but overall, I think we're all doing pretty well. Um, not to, uh, uh, let me pause just for a moment on supply chain. You touched on it. Um, any change in that? Uh... It, it, you know, it changes daily. So it, it uh, you know, for us early on and then in the pandemic, you would have big companies, small companies shut down for, uh, you know, different reasons and it would cause a supply chain disruption. I would say with all of that, our, our suppliers have done a phenomenal job in supplying us because it went from zero to a hundred overnight and we couldn't have done it without them. And you'll still see some going through the summer, they're, they're still, you know, the major chip shortage, uh, that, that's creating issues on chassis, TVs, and things like that. So th that will probably continue on, you know, as, a, as an up and down. But overall, I mean, I, I think people have caught up. You've, you've had some strange things. You've, you've had, you know, a, a shipment of Luan stuck where, you know, there was COVID on the boat. Um, so there are things that, as I've gone out and talked to, you know, a lot of the 20 groups this summer, I've shared stories of what's causing some of this disruption, and it's some of it's almost just unbelievable. Um, we'll survive this. Is the message from Bob Martin? Yeah, I, I think as an industry, we'll we'll come out even stronger. I mean, this is something that we've been trying. You know, all of the Thor companies uh, have been trying to reach this younger demographic, this younger buyer. And for the industry, we've got this situation where people typically trade every three to five years. So if we can get people to buy at a younger age, that's long-term a, a net positive for the entire industry. So uh, this uh, good news uh, um, uh, surfaces from this whole last 16 months of the pandemic. The, the bad news led to the good news. You know, I, I think it's just, it's, it's a change in life. I mean, I think a lot of people are going to take some time before they, they fly again, uh, before they cruise again. Um, and I think people have found this way as a, not, it may have started as safe, and now it's become fun. It's a way to bond with your family. It's, it's a different way to travel. I mean, people are, are you know, it's what we've, we've talked about it for years. They're going to kids' baseball games. They're going to you know, different events, concerts, as things open back up, an RV is a great way to get there. And, you know, you always have your own bathroom, your kitchen, your bed, and, you know, racing. You just, you name it. I think more people are just drawn to the industry. Um, and if that, you know, just, just, I think people being locked up at home, we saw it at the very beginning. They were researching. They were on our, our websites. They were on our dealers' websites. And so as the, the world started to open up, People came out and they had a lot of interest in the RV lifestyle. The open house, uh, the uh, annual, what amounts to the only uh, national scale show, in this case a trade show, in the industry uh, at this point. And um, what's it look like? Everybody wants to know. Yeah, you know, for us, open house is probably going to look different. Um, probably not as many units, but really highlighting the new features. Um, we've got a lot of innovation, a lot of things that we've been working on as a company. Um, 
you know, dealers, they, they want to see what's new. And I think dealers, they, they want to come. They, they want to see their friends. They want to see other dealers. They want to see, you know, their, their dealer partners or their, their manufacturer partners. And, um, you know, I, I, I had one, you know, group, they said the most important thing is ha have a fun party. And um, so I, I think you'll, you'll see, you know, it, it'll look different, probably fewer units, more spread out, uh, trying to be, you know, uh, PC, uh, yeah. very safe, but, but also yeah. um, dealers with, with little inventory, I think if they came to open house and saw 600 units, they might wonder why, you know, because we hold those units up for a month, for about a month. And so with that, th there will probably be less, but more new. Um, uh, certainly social networking seems to be a priority more than ever given all this. Yeah, no, I mean, I think more than anything, um, people just want to get back to a, a normal lifestyle. Um, we're probably not there yet, but I think open house would be a nice first step to get people, you know, in there uh, to see product, to see people, and just one more step towards normal. Um, people watching this uh, video would think I was remiss for not asking you if uh, we're going to have a Beatles reunion uh, or anything <laughs> of that nature this year. I think the Rolling Stones may come back on tour, so we, we don't know. Honestly, there, there are so many entertainers that uh, they're not traveling, they're not doing shows. Uh, for us, you know, it, it's something we always talk about, but at this point right now, we. We don't know what we can even do. All right. um, we're always open for something fun, so you never know. But we'll, we'll see as the summer, you know, moves along, and we see how things open up. Um, we're we're going to try to make it fun. All right. Um, I appreciate the heck out of uh, your time. Thank you. And uh, your input uh, for RV business, and uh, look forward to seeing you uh, down the road. Thank you.